On your left. Al, the group was very intentional about not looking ahead to what tonight could be. Did you feel that perhaps a little of that filtered into tonight, or was tonight just about more about Dallas? Uh, I think it was more about Dallas. Um, you know, I, I felt like <clears throat> they were they were the better team tonight. Clearly, uh, they they played much better, um, and you got to give them credit. Fourth row on your left. Yeah. Uh, I was just, um, Joe was just in there saying that uh, he thought Dallas played harder than you guys tonight. Do you agree with that assessment? How did you feel like your guys' urgency level was compared to where they were at? Yeah, you know, I feel like, you know, we, we came out determined that uh, they were, they, they were the, the, the better team. They were the team that was playing harder. He's right. Jay, back left. You guys, you guys probably felt pretty comfortable in this series coming into tonight. Um, how do you regroup after taking a loss like this, and what do you need to do to ensure it doesn't happen again? Um, yeah, um, you know we we have an opportunity here to to be better, and um, it all starts with us, um, you know, uh, going over this film and um, and having a good practice session, and um, and understand the opportunity we have in front of us. So that's that's what we're gonna do. John, all the way in the back left. Al, it seemed like the decision making was a little uncharacteristic for you guys uh, in this game compared to the first three games. Was there a sense of like when the Mavs started to go on a run there at the end of the first quarter that maybe some guys tried to do a little too much themselves? Maybe you got a little caught up in the we need to answer Dallas versus play your game and get out of it just, just naturally? Um, I'm not sure. I, I just know. You know, there could have been some of that, uh, but ultimately, you know, I felt like they were, you know, they were the better team tonight. Um, you know, that's, we can say all these things about us. They played much better than us. They clearly outplayed us. And, um, and that's, that's tough to take, but that's their reality. Dan here in the center, second row. Uh, Dan Devine, Yahoo Sports. Uh, Al, 60 points in the paint for them. I think it was a series high for that matchup. Um, seemed like they had a lot more success finishing inside. Wondering what you saw from just the way they were attacking. Did it, Were they putting you guys in different actions to try to get downhill? What did you see from the way they were attacking? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know specifically. Um, uh, it just seemed, you know, like a lot of the stuff was going their way. Um, and... Uh, you know, I'm just eager to, you know, to just look at this film and 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 get together and see how, you know, how we can be better. Um, you know, the one thing I can tell you about our group is that, you know, time and time again this year we've, you, you know, know, we've, we've responded, responded anytime, anytime we have adversity, adversity. and um, and this, this is, is a, an opportunity, opportunity that we have here in front of us. Fifth row in the center. Uh, hey, I'm Leandro Serra from ESPN Brazil. Uh, Derek Lively had a big impact in the game tonight. How, uh, what can you guys do differently uh, so that he doesn't impact the game that much? Um, yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Um, uh, you know, we, we definitely have to be better, uh, have to be, you know, more active and uh, make sure that we're a little more aware of him. Um, and, uh, and it's something that I expect us, um, you know, to be better come Monday. Steve up front. Steve Buckley at The Athletic, you guys were down 0-3 against Miami in the um, conference finals last year. Did you see a little of yourselves in them tonight, the way they came back, the way you did in the second half last year in game four? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like every series is kind of has a life of its own. But, um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, they were in a position that their backs were against the wall. And uh, they did what they were supposed to do. Um, you know, it is hard to win on the road. And uh, even though we've had, you know, a lot of success this postseason on the road, um, uh, you know, they they got the momentum, they kept it going, and uh, and that was a big difference. Uh, they, their, their crowd really rallied behind them, and I feel like that helped them, um, you know, throughout. Last three, Jared, Arash, and then Adam. Jared Weiss, The Athletic. Joe's talked a lot about how difficult it is to, like, finally submit somebody and really get over that last step. And this is the first time you guys have had that chance to actually clinch for an actual title. So how difficult was it just going through the journey of trying to find a way back into this game, especially since they were able to get to so many of the things that you had taken away throughout the series so far? Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's hard. You know, it's a playoff series. Uh, teams are going back and forth. I usually, you know, I've been in a lot of these. And usually by the, you know, second game, you're making adjustments. 
third game you're making another adjustment and and that's kind of how it is and for us we've had the first three games we didn't really make any adjustments so um, you know today uh, they did something uh, we have to see what we can how we can be better and um, and and prepare for it and that's kind of where we're at right now but you know it's the playoffs and um, you know they're fighting for their lives and you know they they played better than us all right front right Al uh, Arash Madane from Sportsnet. You mentioned we've faced adversity and gotten through it. There hasn't been a ton this year, but for a team that's been so process oriented, even after 3 0, you're saying, okay, practice, film, et cetera. Well, what does this team do in the face of adversity? What are some of the things that, that has allowed you guys to come out on the other side of it? Um, I think we always, you know, fall back on our, on our work and preparation and uh, understanding what we need to do. And it's not going to be any different now. Adam, last question here on the right. Al, um, how do you kind of ensure that the thoroughness of this win isn't impactful? Like for them to win this big, they had some guys who hadn't been playing as well, maybe gain some confidence, um, kind of the manner at which you're unfolding. How do you guys make sure that that doesn't linger into the next game? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, understanding that it's one game, um, you know, after we won game one, we put it behind us. You know, game two, kind of same thing, and and so on. And we're at this point now, and we, you know, we have to to take some things that we can be better at, and and try to fix them, and then, um, you know, others kind of throw them out, and just kind of do that, um, and and make sure that we come out and we play Celtics basketball. I think ultimately that's what it comes down to us, and you know, and there's a lot of things that we can control. And, um, and that I expect us to be much better uh, on Monday. Thank you, Al.